Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be doing another chameleon cell pour. I really enjoy the process of the, the chameleon cell pour because, I mean, it's completely under my control. I can arrange the composition however I see fit and it's just a super enjoyable process for me. So that's what I'm gonna do. Since I'm pretty much stuck in the house anyway, like most of you are as well, I'm trying to fill my time with things that I enjoy. So with that being said, the color palette I'm gonna be used, I'm using all of the these are all Artist Loft um, ready mixed pouring paints. And the colors are metallic silver, bright blue, crimson, and aqua green. I'm going to layer them in the cup. I'm going to pour this out on a dry canvas. In all of these cups, these are straight out of the bottle. There's no water, there's no Floetrol, nothing mixed with these at all. Um, we're going to be creating the cells with this OGX coconut milk hair serum. It's one of my favorite types of um, silicones. It's actually not a silicone, it's a dimethicone, but it's one of my type, one of my favorite type of uh, liquids to create cells. I've tried the blast off. I've tried the uh, high temperature. I've tried the treadmill oil, um, but the the coconut oil hair serum really generates cells that are out of this world. So I'm gonna, without further ado, we're gonna get into this. And I'm going to start layering my colors in the cup, starting with my metallic. So, as you can see, there's very thin layers in the cup. And we will flip it. Now, if you haven't followed the channel for a while, my favorite types of metallics are not these uh, ready mix pouring paints, but these molten metallics here. This is an eight ounce bottle. This is Dorado Gold. Um, with the molten metallics, you get eight eight ounce bottles for 20 bucks. The only place I've been able to find these is on Amazon. I'm not sure if they keep them in Michaels. I'm not sure if they keep them in Hobby Lobby or any of the other craft stores. But the only place I've seen these are on Amazon. So if you're brand new to painting and you just want some colors to kind of mess around with and get a feel for without spending a ton of money on it, I would say try to head on over to Amazon, look these up, give them a chance. They're, they're really amazing. They're great colors. Um, and it's it's eight of these for twenty bucks, and you can't you can't really beat that. So if you're interested in that, maybe you're you're new to painting, maybe you're not, maybe you just like metallics like I do. Uh, the link's in the description down below, and it'll take you right to uh, those colors, so you can check them out for yourself. So with that, we're gonna get into flipping this cup over, and we're gonna see what we got. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's silver. I love metallics. Mmm. There's a little air bubble right there. Thank you. So the you you might see like some it looks like there's cell structure forming in there, but that's actually just very small bubbles that were in the paint that popped. So those are not cells, they're just Bubbles that travel through the paint brought all the colors to the surface and then pop, so that it will look like um, cells. So now we're going to stretch this, get it across the canvas. That silver is just stunning with these other colors. Goodness. And you can see in the center there where the way I layered the colors in the cup because they were such thin layers, you can see them opening up now as I stretch it in the center there. So I'm just taking the paint to the corners, letting it slightly flow over, and then we will get to making our cells. Uh, the 
reds and the blues that I can see. So I'm going to bring those back to the center. I'm going to use some of the paint that did flow over the edges, the, co the corners. I found that this works a little better for me, just working with the corners after the fact, instead of trying to pour until the corners are completely covered. Because the paint's going to continue to flow with this technique, and you don't necessarily need to um, pour it to the point where you know you've lost so much paint on the surface. Because then, when you do apply the silicone, there's a good chance that it's going to go straight down, all the way down into the canvas, and that's not going to be a look that you're going to like. But right now, what I'm doing, I'm just like looking at the colors and the way they're arranged. I kind of like this wispy line here, so I'm probably going to use that line as kind of a guide for these chameleon cells. So I put a little bit of that coconut oil into this cup. I have my toothpick here with some coconut oil on it, and we're going to start making our cells. shimmer and everything. And in the same way I layered the cups is the same way the colors celled up after you created them. Just gorgeous. So I came back the next day and this is the extent that those cells continued to grow after that first initial application of the oil. As you can see, they kind of spread out quite far, but this is, for the most part, this canvas is completely dry. It'll stay, still take some time for it to get cured completely, but as you can see, the cells did continue to, to grow quite, quite a bit.